We were in South Bend uh, this past weekend, and we had a really good meet uh, for where we're at in the season. I'm really pleased to see where our runners are at right now. Uh, every meet we go to, we seem to improve at a significant rate, which is important. You want to continue to build through the conference championships uh, on Halloween, October 31st uh, in Evansville. So uh, on the women's side, again, led by Kelsey Kirkhoff, she's just being a very consistent force at the top. Uh, she ran a personal best, as did uh, five out of our top six runners this weekend ran personal best times. And so for them to run, uh, faster than they've ever run at this point in the season with a month left is, is really encouraging. Um, Callie Matthews put together a great race, as did Hannah Martin. Uh, and, and so what we had was, was just a good, a good pack and, and a, good, a good spread between our, our first and our fifth runners. And so we're going to continue to work on that. We can be a little tighter on the back end uh, of, our, of our pack right now. Uh, we need to see that. Uh, kind of get a little closer to our second through our fourth runners. Uh, that'll come though. Ashley Norm, she was our, our fifth runner this weekend. This was really her first race of the season. She's been battling a little bit of a plantar fasciitis in her in her foot. And so she's just rearing and, and getting back into full health. And so I think as the season continues to progress, she's going to get better and better as well. Uh, on the men's side, we had a terrific uh, team race. Uh, the spread between our, our first and our fifth runner was 29 seconds. And so there's about 40 teams at this race, and we had the fourth best spread of, of any other team that was there. And so uh, Trey Bunch was our first runner. He put together a really nice race. Uh, Bailey Weatherell, again, for the second week in a row, he PR'd by another minute this weekend. And so he's taken off about a minute and a half uh, this season from where he's been in the past. And so I'm uh, really excited where he's at. And then Dylan Eigenberger, uh, transfer from Iowa Central. He was originally from Dubuque Senior High School. Uh, he had a little bit of health issues as well with his, he had a foot injury and so he's back into full full health and so he's coming on strong and I, I look for him to continue to push uh, going forward and so uh, we're doing what we need to do right now at this point in the season and just got to keep working together and, and, and just push uh, two weeks we're in Bradley and then conference championships after that.